The free senior high school policy since inception in 2017 has reached an estimated 1.2 million students. Enrollment figures have seen an increment with WASI pass rates on a steady rise. The policy implementation, however, is fraught with challenges. Economist and former rector of Gimpa, Professor Stephen Adair, highlighted shortcomings of the policy and proposed solutions. The free SHS is good. It is facing challenges. It must be treated and made better so that Ghanaians will ensure that no child is left behind. When you go and see how many students sleep in a room in some of the secondary schools, actually my, I shudder. You go to Prempe College, meant for about 1,000 students, have about 5,000 students. And even before the free HS, SHS, I went to Krobodumasi Secondary School. And I was shocked because there were three levels of the bed. Now it's three. And students had to squeeze to go on them. And so we have a serious one. So nobody should see anybody who thinks that we should improve free SHS is an enemy of a regime or anybody else. But it's good. Executive Director of the Institute for Education Studies, Dr. Peter Pate, and he indicated that the funding for the policy is not sustainable. The future is bleak because it is also not sustainable. And when we talk about the sustainability issue, people think that, oh, you want parents to, you want parents to pay. I don't think so. What I think is that we want another stream of income for the policy so that if you have 60% coming from government, there's some 40% coming from somewhere. I don't care whether it's parents, I don't care whether it's uh, an international grant, I don't care whether it's even taxes. But that 40% would always support the policy when the government is not able to do that. Kofi Asare of the Africa Education Watch lamented the dwindling resource envelope for sectors such as basic education due to the huge amount allocated to free SHS. All I enumerated about the beautiful story of the Free Senior High School is because of a deliberate policy to finance it. Now, why am I saying so? Whilst we are recording this beautiful outcome from Free Senior High School, if you look at the pre tertiary budget, I'm talking about basic and secondary budget of the Ministry of Education, this year, for instance, take our salaries, because salary is normally non discretional, okay? You can't vary salaries because you already have teachers and workers in the education sector. Take our salary. We call it non-discretionary budget. If you analyze the non-discretionary budget of the Ministry of Education for this year, for instance, you realize that basic education is taking about 4%. 4%. And the remaining 96% is taken by secondary education. NAGRAT and the Association of Private Schools also made contributions to the dialogue. For me as a school teacher, I walk to the schools every morning and I see the schools deteriorate. And that is where my concern is. The philosophies and the theories don't matter to me. What matters to me now, here and now, is that the schools are deteriorating and they are deteriorating fast. As we speak now, Prof mentioned some schools. When you go to Kumasi or Buase, there are good schools that have better infrastructure and better, I mean, um, durable materials to support this policy. But because the conversation itself is not all opened for parents and major stakeholders to make input and for it to be considered, it becomes very difficult for the private schools to be added. In May this year, government announced plans to review the free SHS program details are still scanty as to what form this review would take.